So what we're going to do is consider how the inductive effect actually affects the bromination of a certain molecule. So in this one, we're going to use MBS because we only want a single brom bromine on this molecule. And we're going to use UV light, which indicates that we're going to have free radical formation. Now, what is the most stable carbon on this entire molecule? Well, let's consider all the possible types. Well, we have benzene carbons, like over here. However, these carbons are extremely unstable because having a radical on a benzene is extremely unstable. Then we have a secondary over here. We have a tertiary over there. And then we have a secondary and secondary over here, but what's special about them is that they're allylic because they're next to a carbon with a double bond. So we're going to stick to those. Those are the most stable ones that we have. They're secondary allylic. Now, what's the difference between this one and this one? Well, we notice over here, we have a carbon with three fluorines. Now, what are fluorines? Well, fluorines are electron withdrawing groups. So fluorines are electron withdrawing. So they're withdrawing, right? Now, if we're forming a free radical over here, so if we form something, now ignoring the benzene, so I'm just gonna call it a phenol here. If we have a carbon with three fluorines, What's going to happen is that if we have a free radical over here, our dipole is in this direction, right? Because fluorine is pulling away that electron density. Now, what are radicals? Well, radicals are unpaired electrons. So we can write that down and say that radicals are unpaired electrons, right? Now, do electrons want to be paired? Yes which means that this is electron deficient. We want an extra electron. Now, does it help by the fact that fluorine is pulling away electron density? No, in fact, the reason we picked secondary allylic over here is because a double bond provides density. So it provides electron density. So when you have an inductive effect next to a radical mechanism, that's actually going to make it less reactive because it's less stable. So our actual most stable carbon over here is this one. So what will our product be? Well, it'll be our benzene molecule, right? And it'll be our other cyclohexane attached to it with our carbon and three fluorines. And our bromine will be attached right over here. And that's because this secondary allylic has less inductive effect, has less or suffers from less inductive effect. So it suffers from less inductive effect. And that makes it more stable because remember radicals are electron deficient and they want electron density. So how do we pick the bromine for this molecule? We just look at the most stable carbon and if we have inductive effect, we just have to remember the inductive effect is electron withdrawing and that makes it less stable. So that is all.